This is a tutorial on how to loom a flat cap. There is a picture of it on my son's head as a baby size. Then there's the doll size and below. I'll have a link to my blog on how to make child and adult size. Here's the supplies you'll need. Pretty simple supply list. So I'm going to show how to make the doll one. And you get any color you want and want to cast on all 24 pegs and this pattern is going to work circularly for the most part so go ahead and cast on all your pegs and then you want to e-wrap a row and then you want to purl a row and the reason you want to purl a row after you e-wrap it is so that it doesn't roll up it stays straight and you'll notice that's a real big help. So after you get done e-wrapping a row, you want to go ahead and purl a row. Then after you're done doing that, you want to e-wrap all 24 pegs for four rows. When you're done, you're going to start working flat for the next 12 pegs. And this is where it's going to kind of seem like you're working a sock, but you're not. You're working the part that bends out front. So what you want to do is you want to e-wrap 11 pegs and then you're going to wrap and turn the 12th peg. I find it's easy to just go ahead and e-wrap and toss over and then make sure that the next you wrap and do not toss it over. You'll see what I mean here in just a second. So I've wrapped it. Now I want to e-wrap 10 pegs and then wrap and turn the 11th. So go ahead and toss that over. Don't touch that one. Okay, and you want to go back and wrap that and turn. And then you're going to e wrap nine pegs and wrap and turn peg 10. And you're going to continue this process until you're down to just six straight pegs. Don't touch that one. Go ahead and toss over the rest. Make sure you don't go too far toss over your other ones and don't toss over that one right there. Now you want to go back and continue on so you wrap eight pegs, wrap and turn peg nine. As I said I've got a pattern guideline for how you do all the sizes from doll size to baby to child to adult. E-wrap seven pegs, wrap and turn peg eight. I'm almost done with this section. And then e wrap six pegs, wrap and turn peg seven. Now you're going to go ahead and take it all the way around. And this is basically going to kind of be your new starting point. But at this point, you're going to start wrapping all the way around all 24 pegs. 
and this is getting to the point of the top of the hat. So go ahead and do that. Toss over and you want to toss both of them over when you get to those that you have wrapped in turn. And now you want to continue working circular. You wrap 24 pegs for 9 rows total. And then we'll go from there. Continue on until you're done. And now that you've done that, you're going to decrease every other peg all the way around till you're down to a total of 12 pegs. And the reason you're going to do this is so that when you do your drawstring cast off, you have a flatter area. It's not too bulky up top. So there's a purpose to this. It thins it out so that it doesn't have that bulk when you do the drawstring. When you decrease it, pull over one and toss the bottom loop over. And this thins it out so that when you draw a string it, it take up less space. Now you want to do the drawstring cast off, which is sending the needle through every loop. Once you're done with this, after you tie off your drawstring cast on, you have the base of your hat. And then we'll go to the next step, which will be your brim. Okay, turn it inside out, tighten it up, tie it off. Make sure it's as tight as possible. You don't want a hole showing there. That's the other reason why I decreased, is I don't want a little hole showing up at the top. Let's go ahead and tie that off. right side out and I'll show you how to kind of shape it so you can see you got kind of a bend there so go ahead and pull on it a little bit and shape it into place and you can kind of see where that is so there you have it as you can see it has a longer front now you want to start on your brim I've chosen to go to a flower loom, but you can stay with the blue loom. You're going to be working flat. And what you want to do is you want to cast on 12, e wrap a straight row of 12. Remember, you're working flat. And you're going to do the same thing with the brim as you did for. The section in the main part of the hat you're going to do the wrap and turn and you're going to do it down to six so you're going to do basically the same exact thing 
is you're going to e wrap 11, wrap and turn 12, e wrap 10, wrap and turn 11, continue on until you're down to 6. It's the same concept, creating that. I show still completely full out in the video. And it's like you're starting to make the heel of a sock, but you're making the brim of the hat. So it'll fold back. So continue this process, and when I say in the blog on my pattern adjustment for the different sizes when I say working from 12 pegs down to 6 with the wrap and turn that's what I mean and it's the same concept I just haven't sat there and wrote it out completely but the pattern I give is going to be the one for the doll which is what you see here but I will include the pattern for different sizes You wrap seven pegs, wrap and turn for the eighth peg. We're almost done with this process. Gotten, you should have three wrapped and turned on each side, one, two, three, and at this point that you're at, you're going to go in and you're going to e-wrap to the other side, which will be nine pegs. So go ahead and e-wrap all the way to the other side, and toss over. Stop there and leave those three for the row back. Okay, and then the next row you're going to e wrap for 12 pegs and toss over. Okay, you want to e-wrap 12 pegs for 5 rows. And then we're going to do a step like you do on usually the first pattern you ever learn to make. And that's when you go to make the brim, and you're going to pull up that original cast on loop and start to put it on the peg. We're going to do that same concept here, and basically, you're going to be folding it in half. And this is a really cool thing when you're done. So, once we're done with this section of e wrapping for five rows. We're going to start pulling up and placing on to the pegs. So now you want to go in and do that all the way around. And it's pretty easy to see when you do the particular cast on I did that it shows up large. So you want to go ahead and put that on each and every peg.
And after you've done that, you're going to actually cast off. You're not going to continue e-wrapping. So go ahead and you'll need to get your crochet hook. To cast off and we're going to do like we've done in other videos where you put the first loop on, wrap it, and pull through. And you're going to take and put both loops on there and you're going to pull both through that one loop and then wrap and pull through. And you may lose some the one that you put on there, just try to hunt it down and make sure it gets on the crochet hook with that other loop. Make sure there's always two on the next peg. Pull through, wrap and pull through, and continue that all the way around. And you're fixing to see what you've just done. It's really neat. Okay, as you can see, there is your brim. Neat, right? Well, that's what you've just done. Now what you want to do is sew your brim onto your hat. And I take those ends and tie and line it up to that bent section on the hat so that the brim and the hat line up. And so I tie the ends off. that kind of places it so make it really easy to sew on you just sew it on there it's already in place and I kind of tuck those in and just sew the base on first and then you connect the front of the top part of the hat with the edge of the brim to create that flat cap look. And you're almost done. So go ahead and sew the edge of the brim and the ends of the cap edge together. And you want to tie it off. And I like to tuck the ends into the brim area. Once you tuck your ends in, you're done. Kind of shape it in the way you want. And there you have it. There's your little flat cap. And you're done. And that's what it looks like on